There better be uh, some fucking good news today. I'll start you off with, I'll try to start with some good news. I mean, I don't know if this is good news, but it's funny news. Have you guys heard the good news? This is, uh, <laughs> I need some good news. <laughs> All right. Some, some genuine good news. All right. This is not genuine good news. Sorry. But maybe, I don't know, it depends on your interpretation, I guess. Browns cut Jermaine Whitehead after a rant that included death threats. It says racist Twitter rant. Yeah. Yep, racist Twitter rant. But he's black. Yeah, well, so... <coughs> anyway, so confused. Cleveland Browns have cut S. Jermaine Whitehead. Maybe he's racist because his name is has white in it. You know? All right, so... uh Jermaine Whitehead goes off after loss. So according to Zach Jackson of The uh, Athletic, Whitehead was still in uniform replying to tweets from Fox and others on Twitter who were critical of his play. I guess he fucked. He botched some kind of play or something. Yeah, he fumbled or some shit. Uh, a member of the Browns public relations team separated him from the media in the locker room after the game, and Whitehead did not seek to uh, speak to reporters, uh, Jackson said. I wonder why that was. The Browns put out a statement saying Whitehead's tweets were totally unacceptable and highly inappropriate and that the team did not condone the language or behavior. Whitehead's efforts tackling today is a joke. Hashtag uh, Browns. That's uh, Dustin Fox. He's a checkmark guy, right? And so Jermaine Whitehead's like, Come get in it, blood bitch, made ass little boy. I'm out there with a broke hand. Don't get smoked, fuck ass cracker. Damn. <laughs> Don't get smoked, fuck ass cracker. Yeah, I it. mean, in this guy's defense, the dude that made that original post does kind of look like a fuck ass cracker. Hmm. Let's see. Look at him. Let's see how much of a fuck ass cracker he is. Is he a big fuck ass cracker? Yeah. I don't know. He look. He looks like a fuck. Yeah. Ass I cracker. mean, in fairness. In fairness to Jermaine, if I have ever seen a fuck ass cracker, that there, that motherfucker right there is a fuck ass cracker. Yeah, it looks like a school picture. Like yeah. he's all turned all sideways and shit. It's horrible. So um, Sports Nation Ohio uh, has tweeted out something. Yeah, we're gonna look at those in a minute. Um, let's see. Let's learn a little bit about the backstory of this guy before we look at those. Uh, the Browns picked up Whitehead last season after the Green Bay Packers waived him. Whitehead joined the Packers in 2016 as an undrafted free agent out of Auburn. Whitehead was a starter this season but had little impact with 41 tackles and one interception uh, for the Browns. Uh, the Browns' season has been very difficult. The team is 2-6 and six and has fallen far short of expectations. Did anyone really expect the Browns to oh, do well? Oh, dude, God. <laughs> it was insufferable this year before, like, the Browns are the team that they're going to be this big, explosive team this year. They have all the pieces, man. The Browns, They've done that. I, I remember that they from, all, I mean, yeah, well, from times every gone team by says when, that. when I used to pay attention to uh, football. I've heard this, like, oh, the Browns are going to be a, a, a real presence. That they never are. It's bullshit. And it's because, honestly, and I know this shouldn't make any difference, but it really does. It's because they've got the worst name in the yeah, NFL. Yeah, they're called the Browns, which makes you instantly think of shit. Yeah. If, if, I, if I told you I have the Browns, you would think that I, you know, I, I had diarrhea or something. It just sounds like, yeah, like shit related. It would sound, if someone's like clutching their stomach and like, oh, the Browns. You'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, the Cleveland. To, we got to get to a bathroom quick. And, and what worse city to be, have that moniker than fucking Cleveland, dude? The Cleveland, right. It's like, flush this team down the fucking toilet now if they renamed themselves something cool i think that they would be a force dude if they if they were like the cleveland avengers or some shit the cleveland uh barbarians <laughs> yeah dude the cleveland ronin or something like give them a cool fucking name like yeah. the browns are like the least creative fucking name the you know cleveland what ninjas i want to point out they have no brown on the uniforms their uniform their fucking helmet is yeah. orange if yeah. anything, y'all should be the oranges, unless brown is supposed to refer to the fucking skin color of most of the players, because even, even their fucking uniforms are running from the name. Yeah. The uniforms don't even want to be The uniforms like, we don't want to be brown. Anyway, oh, so let's take a look at uh, some of these these other tweets from this guy here. Yeah, that's the next tab. I, I opened up. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, here we yep. go. Here it is. Okay, so uh, this is Sports Nation Ohio. Browns player Jermaine Whitehead uh, got just got his Twitter suspended 15 minutes after losing to the Broncos. Wow. Things are going well. All right, so let's take a look. We already saw uh, some of this. So uh, just saw two for 110 yards and a touchdown. Fuck boy. Jermaine Whitehead says, don't get shot at, little bitch. Can you whoop my ass? Fuck football. Let me know when you need the address. Whoa. And RH is like, uh, this RH guy is like, you probably miss. 
<laughs> oh, damn. Uh, so then Brian Schaffler is like, give me a time and place. You suck. Oh, my God. And then he goes and posts his fucking address here. Ugh. 80 Lou Groza Boulevard, Berea, Ohio, 44017. Any fucking day of the week? Question marks. Any fucking day of the week? Are you, are you staying any day of the week? Or I think are you asking, asking any day of the week? Maybe this was his resignation from the Browns, so he knew he was going to have a lot of time on his hands. Cracker. Cracker. Where does the whole cracker thing come from? I don't know. He just he just doesn't like crackers. No, man. no, no. I mean just the word. Oh, I don't know. Like what's it based? You want to know the etymology of cracker? I just wonder. Hmm. I've heard people say it's because the whips. Maybe like, yeah, whip cracker. Or that like you know saltine crackers are white. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But what's the cracker thing? I don't get it. I've heard the origin of honky, which was like. White insurance agents would be collecting the money from black people, so they, and, they would, um, and they would just honk their horn to get them to come out and pay. Oh, honky. so that's, that's why they called them honkies. They'd be honking the horn to get them to come out, like cause they wouldn't go actually up to their door. I was like, no, you have to come bring me the money. Uh, uh here, uh, so blah blah blah. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. That's on blood. I don't understand what that's on blood means. It's a gang term. Can you explain it to me? Or it's like the bloods, to... the bloods and the crypts. So he's oh. saying on the on the bloods, uh, I'm gonna kill you. Okay, so he's a blood, or it could be like he's referring to his family. Oh, like I put that on my mama, but it's quicker to say that's on you know. Oh, blood. like he's saying yeah. like, okay, I get it. So that's on blood. So is it's like, one of those yeah. two things. Gotcha. See, I'm hip to the streets. I'm not. I know a lot of the lingo. If some motherfucker came up to me like, that's on blood, I'd be like, I, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I've got I a actually, strikingly well-developed street vernacular, TJ. Wow. wow. I speak fluent uh, ebonics. So I anyway, but you don't know what cracker means, so let's get into that. Oh, yeah. I mean, who does know what cracker Secret means? Secret history of the word cracker, man. There you go. Uh, Jantel and Martin was told creepy-ass cracker was following him, blah, 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 blah. Cracker 2013, blah, 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 blah. Where the fuck is the origin? Cracker, the old there standby. It is. Suspected that it's a shortened version of whip cracker. Yep. The old standby of Anglo insults was first noted in the mid-18th century, making it much older than the United States itself. It was used to refer to poor whites, particularly those inhabiting the frontier regions of Maryland, Virginia, and Georgia. It's suspected a shortened version of whip cracker, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we were just, you know, yeah, it's pretty well, easy. Right. But it says they were, it, it was poor whites, so these aren't even like... This isn't even like a, a slave owner term. Right. This is kind of just like something like... It's like, you... it's like the original poor white trash. Mm-hmm. Because they, yeah, they, were, they were driving like oxen with whips. That's why they call, called them... Yeah, so, <sighs> yeah, since the manual labor that involved driving livestock with a whip, not to mention the other brutal arenas. Was, I see. Yeah, so basically it was, like poor, it was like poor white people. So it wasn't like cracking the whips on the slaves. It was like the, the, the toiling white workers who were cracking just whips. Just another way to keep the poor white man down. You know man. what... It, you know, I guess you so. You know those black people were saying, dude, it's like, look, if you're going to oppress me, you're not even like a rich white person oppressing me. You're like a fucking white trash white person oppressing me. And I'll take you seriously. <clears throat> go make some money. Go, go be a land bearer, and then you can come and subjugate me, okay? Mm. We'll talk. I think I think it's Twitter that's to blame for this shit, honestly. Paul blames Twitter. Twitter just like, you know, it's like set up. If you're a public figure, even a semi-public <laughs> figure, you're instantly getting goaded by everybody. And then if you respond with anger... Righteous or not, <gasps> you're the you're the asshole, not the fucking literal fucking cavalcade of people calling him a fuck boy. Learn to fucking tackle, fuck boy. <laughs> Fire this stupid talentless hack piece of shit. Only forty one tackles all season. Fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's supposed to sit there and just read that and go, "Yes, sir." Mm hmm. I mean, uh huh. I don't like. Well, Locally, I really don't think it'd be a problem if he clapped back. If it was like, if he didn't threaten to kill people, I don't know. I think he'd probably be all right. I think he'd probably still have his job if he was just like, "Fuck you, bitch." See, but why can't you meet fire with fire? You know what I mean? They're talking about like him losing his livelihood. Mm -hmm. They're talking about him being fired from a position that he that he takes very seriously, and you know, a game that he hypes himself up for and works very hard for and takes very seriously. And all these people are just trashing his entire life work so he's got to come up with like a slick ass fucking huff po style clap you know, back to, like why can't he give them the same animosity and shitty language that they're giving him i mean 
He could. I mean, I mean, I mean he, I when, he, he, when he, he does, he the same people that were fucking poking he's... him with a stick or go, go, oh, oh. I mean, he could have easily been like, said. you know, you're. But the thing is, that someone, should, someone says knows. you suck at your job and you're you didn't tackle enough people. He'd be like, well, you suck at your job and you're a <laughs> shitty journalist or whatever. Well, it's more than that. You don't have to he, go he and knows, be like, you know, he knows he's he, look. He knows he's going to be held to a higher standard. And if they, and, they, and that organization has every right to fire him if they want to fire him. If they don't want to have him on the team for that reason. No. And I and I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. Like if someone's provoked constantly and they act out, obviously this, I don't think he was really threatening anyone. I think it was just in a moment of anger. He wanted. To, he just he was reacting. I mean, he put his address out there and said, "Anytime, any place. Yeah, come on." This type of shit, like the, dude, back yeah, in the people, day in people football, people would actually problems. beat people up and still remain on the goddamn team. Like there was right. no. Yeah, oh, I agree with you. Yeah, there was no. You know what I mean? Like football has an identity crisis. On one hand, you've got a, a game that's in, that literally involves dudes dressing up in armor and clashing into one another like f- fucking rage fueled beasts yeah. all game. Dude, like the six, uh, yeah. But then off the field, uh, when one of them flips like... out and gets angry, everybody's like, oh, 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 no! oh, all no! right. So I actually agree with you on that point. It's just bullshit. Um, I hate this stupid dude, shit. In the sixties and seventies, dude, the, like if you watch the like the film on that and like hear about the guys that played, dude, they were crazy. Oh, yeah. they, they, they used to beat the fucking ever loving shit out of each. Other. Like, yeah, each totally other, not. other people on the fucking street, yeah, they're getting you, bar fights, yeah, they're you, getting car accidents, yeah, if you lift, drunk. If you looked up to some fucking big football player back in the day, it wasn't just like, he's going to be like, you, you were going to get what? bitch slapped in your mouth. There was no Twitter to do that on back in the day. See, that's the thing. All of this stuff. Now, I don't think the guy should have threatened to kill people, but I don't think he should be fired for it either. I don't think calling somebody a well, fuck boy. I mean, apparently he wasn't very a very good player anyway, so. Whatever. I mean, if he was a star player, I don't think he would have been fired for this. Fuck no, yeah. He a, probably would If a star player. I don't uh, think so. They, they nowadays, been, dude. They would have been suspended. They would have been suspended. Yeah, he had he to go do some commercials or something. I don't know. I, I don't like this. <laughs> Oops, I did a racism. Oops, I threatened to kill I don't, people. I, I hate this fucking, I, I hate this, <laughs> like, false dichotomy that yeah. Twitter sets up, where it's like public figures always have to be like, hmm, yeah, no. yes, very measured clapback. <laughs> I, I rise above all of this. But everybody that is, like, in their mentions and shit is allowed to just be a reprehensible scum fuck. Say the worst things you can fucking imagine about you. Do you, you. think Paul's channeling his own rage right now? Of pro- course I am. Projecting his you, guys have all ex- you guys have all experienced Project- this shit, though. No, me never. Never yeah. once. Oh, Sorry. come on, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> never never heard an unkind well, word on the Twitter. I've never I said a mean about. word to anyone on Twitter. Just bullshit. Uh, We're just uh, expecting people to pretend like they're fucking... You know, cigarillo smoking aristocrats. <laughs> you know, what I, I mean, I agree with I agree with most of what you said, but I do think his tweets went a little too far. Um, I don't know. Deep bad boy.